Hello there, Capricorn. Okay, we're doing May 2023 career and finance reading for you guys. So what do you need to know about your career or your business? Let's see. We'll start off with the Empress. Whoa. What The most financially abundant card in the deck. I love it. Okay. Libra Taurus energy. We have Angora Rabbit. Time to hop into action. Use your natural creativity to bring forth prosperity and success in your life. Nice. <laughs> Loving it. Okay, then we have Five of Winter. Ooh, okay. So we have Kali Dog. It says, your current path isn't landing you toward the happiest possible outcomes. So why not change it? Always maintain integrity and compassion, but be alert to the hidden agendas of others. People being jealous of you. This is backstabbing. This is um, yeah, conflict. This is the Five of Swords. It's um, some kind of bully behavior or um, maybe even poor leadership. Okay. But with the Empress here, this is, you know, doing something on your own. Maybe starting your own business. Or, um, but this is a time of, of strong creativity here. Giving birth to something here. Could also be someone getting pregnant. Okay, and then we have the Chariot. Cancer energy. Okay, Arabian horse. You can successfully balance various or opposing energies at once through termination and focus you earn the rewards and recognition you're receiving nice okay let's clarify these this feels good i mean of course once you're doing really well other people get jealous and that's what that card in the middle is the five of winters the five of swords okay let's see here okay oh we have the two of cups you might be partnering up with someone or at least you're going to be with someone that's on the same page just be like a very strong union of assets with someone or beneficial connection a work balance okay now what about this five of winter the five of swords three of pentacles yeah there's something about working together or when i see this three of pentacles i look at it okay this is supposed to be like three of pentacles is always representative of teamwork um collaborating with others a presentation but when you see a single person in here I'm thinking you're working well with others but you're doing your own thing so I would say here this is you in this team where this team there's conflict here but you're doing your own thing and you're you're expanding you're succeeding you're probably like almost feel like with the chariot here you're up ahead of everybody else and they're not liking it but you're just doing you and you're putting time and effort into it these others might not want to put the time and effort into it so a lot of times when you when that happens it's like no don't do so much work because it makes us look bad well i'm sorry i'm doing me you do you i do me <laughs> that's my thing i always had that problem no i'm doing me <laughs> i'm not doing you okay let's see about the chariot Ten of Wands. You're moving away from these burdens. It's probably this people, this conflict, this um company, whatever this situation is. You're getting you're getting out of dodge. It's not working. Okay, so now let's see. What can you do to move forward? I'm gonna stop this for a minute because I gotta put a sweater on. Y'all it's I feel cold. <laughs> so let me put my sweater on. Because these these um Korean finance readings are longer readings, so. I don't think I can make it through the whole reading <laughs> without the sweat. Okay, what can you do to move forward? To a spring. Okay, the pelican. Your vision, creativity, and dedication to your cause have brought you great success. In fact, it may be your best interest to get a partner to assist in your endeavors or expand the number of people helping you. Yeah, so if it does feel like if you don't have a business, you're going to have, it's either you might be starting your own business or you might be going in partnership with someone. So we have the two of cups here. We have the two of, two of springs, which is the two of wands. I think I got to shake these again. Okay, let's see. I don't know why I say shake. <laughs> let's shake it. Over. Okay. Ooh, good shake, good shake. <laughs> Ace of Autumn. Okay. 
Calico Cat, you can expect a windfall of abundance such as money, timely assistance, a serendipitous meeting, or re what is it? rewarding advice. You may be offered a fabulous new job or promotion or the prospect of a profitable business venture or investment. Now, this is Ace of Autumn, Ace of Pentacles. It being in the right place at the right time, a golden opportunity coming in, and it could be this partnership, this um, yeah, you might be coming into a partnership. Now, let's see what we have here. We have the Eight of Autumn. Yeah, this definitely working together here. Learning something new. Okay, so we have Eight of Autumn, which is Eight of Pentacles. So we have Parent. It's the perfect time to learn all you can by returning to school, taking a seminar, or conducting research. Do your best work, and the Law of Attraction will bring you prosperity and career advancement. Didn't I say that here? This is you focusing, doing your work. This person is determined. Look at, the, look at the face. Like, she's into it, you know? And so, determined to do the best work. That's what it feels like here. And don't pay attention to anyone else trying to bring you to the, their level. Because you're going up. They're staying down or going down further. <laughs> Let's see here. What about this two of spring, two of wands? What's going on with that? Ooh, he's hard at work too. This Knight of Wands is a jack of all trades. You have many talents, many, you're capable of many different things. And, you know, that's another thing that is causing this havoc here with this five of winter is because you are multitasking, multi-talented, you know, jack of all trades, Knight of Wands, Aries, Leo, Sagittarius, but th this is definitely your energy. Have a lot of passion, desire, wisdom. And protection. I'm loving it. Okay, let's see. Knight of Wands. Okay. That is great. A lot of passion there. A lot of desire. I'm really into whatever you're doing here. If it's a new job, a new business, whatever you're doing, it's like really taking off here. So what about this Ace of Autumn? <laughs> wow! Ace of Cups! Loving what you do. And this is also coming in for like emotional fulfillment here with the Ace of Cups. This is um, maybe being revitalized or a lucky break or, or something feeling very fulfilling here. Whatever you're doing here, loving it. Could be love coming in too, but we really are focused on uh, career and finance. But that doesn't mean love won't creep in. And you know what? Another thing. When one thing is happening in your life, it, you know, it's... It um, has a ripple effect. So if you're doing really well as far as your finances, your career, it's going to go into other things too because it's your attitude. It's what you're thinking. And your positivity will bring more positivity in all areas of your life. So let's see about this Eight of Autumn. We have here Two of Swords. You might have to make a decision here of what you want to do. And you're not sure. See, there's a blindfold here. So when there's a blindfold, you don't have all the answers. And also, I don't know why her she has her hands tied here but your hands might be tied in a situation but you want to make a decision but you can't at this time so maybe it's just not the right time to make the decision of course we are in mercury retrograde at this time too so any decision you make might not stay it might is um, subject to change so if you're going to sign anything you shouldn't really sign it during mercury retrograde anyway so how can you be more financially successful Okay, the nine of spring will be nine of wands. The gazelle, uh, we have, you worked hard, and what you created is impressive and worthy of protecting. Annoying challenges may pop up, but don't worry. You get through them just as you have in the past. So something might come up to challenge you a little bit here. And it might be your ego. Maybe, no, don't get in your head too much and get... A little bit too cocky here. We have uh, the Siamese cat. You may feel that you're trapped in your situation, but that's not true. Be careful not to overly focus upon material wealth and break free from negative thinking. Now, this ego will also be this is the card that is, um, this is for the, the devil here. Couldn't think of it. Um, the devil energy, Capricorn energy. So, this could be, you know, saying you're in your own energy, but you know, it's over overdoing too because 
with the um if we were doing the devil card i would be saying you might be overworking over you know but you are doing i'm, I'm also telling you that you're doing this and that's why you're getting where you're getting to <laughs> so but you know it all ever like everything has two sides to it it's great is 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 achieving but sometimes you could get yourself exhausted so if we come up um we did have the ten of wands and that's from working really hard but you're going to be moving away from that. So somehow you might be getting help, which is the partnership here. So it all seems to fall into place here. Okay, now let's see. And remember, why don't you take the parts that resonate with you? If you're not one that is like all like have to show off or stuff like that, then this that part is not for you. Okay. Um, Queen of Autumn. Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn. Okay, so we have here thoughtful, caring, creative ingenious you will be a uh, belgium here sorry you will be given advice that's both practical and creative and it should be followed precisely focus only upon the positive in every situation or person absolutely because whatever you focus on you're going to be bringing in so you bring in the negative of a situation or a person you're going to bring in more of that to yourself so we don't want to do that so queen of autumn yeah let me get a charm on this we have whoop, we have seeing things that maybe you didn't see before we have the glasses here there's maybe a deeper vision to something um, a deeper understanding of something seeing something you didn't see before you know sometimes things could be right in front of your your eyes and you don't see it um the other day for this mercury retrograde i'm going through all kinds of stuff like i'm sure everybody else is and i really wanted to find a piece of paper that i needed i know i had it i know where i had it i looked i looked i looked i can't tell you how many times i looked later on i said i gotta look again and there was there the whole time i just didn't see it so sometimes there's something right in front of you that you're not seeing but it's there and maybe you're not meant to see it at the time okay queen of pentacles Let's clarify here. Why is a nine a spring here? The king of pentacles. Wow. I tell you, there's a connection coming in here for you guys. King and queen of pentacles, you'll be on the same page. So this is how can you be more successful? Maybe the partner that you partner up with, you're seeing them for the first time or they're seeing you. Something's happening. I don't know whether you're the king or the queen, but it might be that oh, you, you've been here the whole time and I never noticed you. No, because you're too busy working. <laughs> okay, so we have Taurus Virgo Capricorn. Let me get a um, charm here. And we have a change, a butterfly here. Now, um... You know, with the Queen of Pentacles, this is a busy bee. This is someone that can do it all um, energy and um, very resourceful. I was thinking that was you. But then again, you have now the King of Pentacles, which is this is someone that is a business owner, um, someone in charge, like a head honcho or very influential. Very, st you're, Both of these cards being that they're Pentacles here, very stable, very reliable, grounded. I mean, it's earth energy, very grounded. This to the King of Pentacles. I'm loving this reading for you guys. Oh my gosh. Okay, so now I wonder who has the ego then. You know, you got the right now the way the cards are on the table, what we're showing is the king, the queen, and the ego. <laughs> okay, let's see. Let's see here. I don't know. I'm focusing on this ring too. It's like this really standing out to me. Is that an engagement ring? I don't know. Look at that. Are somebody getting engaged or married here? See that ring? That's very interesting. Okay. Okay. Why do we have the Siamese cat here? The ego. Why is that here? Four pet. Someone's hanging on to something. Someone might be very stubborn. Or maybe both. Maybe there's something going on between you guys already and there's like a very stubbornness. It could also be one of these um, things where you know each other. You're maybe button heads, but there's a very strong attraction there. It's a very hot <laughs> sexual attraction going on. So someone's either keeping something to themselves, hanging on to something. And this usually comes up as a miser card, but I'm feeling more like... um 
and I'm not feeling that. I'm feeling like someone's keeping something to themselves. Maybe it's the, the energy you're feeling. There might be a lot, a lot of tension between you two because it's kind of hot. <laughs> what about this queen of autumn? What do we have here? Whoa! Did I call that one right? The lovers. Okay. <laughs> There's something going on here. So how can we more financially assist? We'll get together here <laughs> there's a connection there's a very strong connection now this could be just a partnership too but <laughs> it doesn't feel like that to me <laughs> okay guys i'm loving this reading for you so much okay um let's see now next is where or what do you need to improve Ooh, the star. <laughs> the Oreo here. We have, you are about to take a big leap forward with your life. Worry will be replaced with optimism. Fear with hope. And joy is coming home to roost. Nice. Just kidding. Next one now. We have the three of autumn. Love it. So this is the mer, mer. What's a mer? Okay. A miniature poodle dog. You must your most satisfying and profitable career comes from following your passions, listening to your heart, and doing what brings you joy. I don't know why I'm getting pulled back to these two. <laughs> and um, your life purpose is best fulfilled by allowing your talents and true self to shine forth out into the world. Okay, be you. You know, here we have this shine star. You might become famous. But definitely you're standing out. You're getting recognized for whatever you're doing here. And it looks like the two of you, I would not be surprised. We started out with the Empress, right? I would not be surprised if the Emperor doesn't come out. Because you guys might be a power couple coming together. We have the Princess of Spring here. Okay. So this will be like the Page of Wands. So communication coming in. Um, let's see. It says here. Energetic. Outgoing. Optimistic. Creative. The Monarch Butterfly. Creative Opportunities that you feel passionate about are fluttering your way. Personal growth and broaden her horizons will spark fresh and original ideas. Ooh. Ooh, ooh, let me get a charm on that. And we have here, we have the lion. Okay, so Aries, um, Leo, Sagittarius, and now we have the lion. So we might have a Leo coming in here. Okay, or it just means strength. Being strong. Very, look how um, sure this lion is of themselves. The kind of cockiness here. Hey, we'll maybe go back to that ego. <laughs> but that's okay. You know, have the have the assurance here. Know that you, you can do this. So let's see. But this is also communication. Something coming in here. Some kind of communication. I should move this over a little bit. I need room over there. I need room. I need room for the cards I put this way. Okay. Now. Let's see here. Why do we have the star here? Okay, lovers is choice. I don't know. I didn't go more into the lovers card. This is choices. Did I mention this yet? So with the lovers being a choice card, being a connection, a partnership coming in. Also, um, you know, working for a common goal. This is a very beneficial partnership. It also could be making a decision because it's a choice card. Okay, now what about the star? Eight of Pentacles. Look, you're going to be really shining bright in your work situation, whatever that is. And again, we have someone really diligently working here by themselves, but really. And this also, Eight of Pentacles, usually um, it talks about going back to school, learning something. It also could be apprentice and internship, but I don't see that because I think you're. it feels too much like you're already established. You come up as an empress first. I don't think you're going to go into, um, I mean, you could be learning something new, though. This could be just... I'm um, speaking about skills, workshops, seminars, you know, just add a little extra to uh, your portfolio here. Learning something a little different, learning something more maybe. Um, what about the Three of Autumn, which is the Three of Pentacles, which is working together, teamwork. So that is actually repeating that, working together here. Okay. And, you know, again, the, it's weird how this is teamwork, but it's always like, like this is saying you're getting recognition, you're getting knowledge. You are standing above the rest. So whoever you're working with, whatever team, I think you are the shining star in it. 
And we have here the Nine of Cups, your hopes, your wishes, dreams coming true. Wow, jackpot. Um, per personal fulfillment, a dream job, a dream um, business. Okay, what about this um, prince? Did I say princess? Yeah, princess page. Okay. Queen of Cups. You know, the Queen of Cups, this could be representative of a Scorpio, Cancer, Pisces, but and someone very loving, nurturing, caring, very intuitive. But it also represents doing what you love. This is not just for the money of it. You know, not just for the material gain. This is for doing what you really love here. Okay, let's get a charm on this. And we have, ooh, four-leaf clover. Lucky, lucky you. I'm loving it. Okay, now, loving this reading for you guys. It's absolutely amazing. Get ready. I think you're coming into a very, very lucky, happy, uh, fulfilling, prosperous period. Okay, let's see. What or whom is an obstacle you need to overcome? Princess of Winter. So this... It's the Page of Swords. That's by guys, by girl. Okay, you're being watched then. Uh, let's see. It says logical, truthful, curious, undiplomatic. So we have the seagull. This is an intellectual challenge that calls upon your ability to think of a matching solution. If helpful information, if helpful information is put to you bluntly, accept the message without being bothered by the messenger okay so this is saying and this is what what should you try to overcome someone might just say something to blurt something out or say something in a very cold cal cal callous way and um you just gotta ignore it pussy now mercury retrograde pfft. it's like you know communication gets all messed up here but also this could represent the spy guy spy girl i know you're being watched you're getting a lot of attention oh look at this looky looky we got the crown Get, get, take this again. Look at the little crown. We'll crown the seagull. We got a royal seagull coming in. Okay. <laughs> well, let's see. And we have the page of swords. Okay. So let's see what else we have here. Yeah, you're getting a lot of attention. People are noticing your work. Your work, and, I, and they want me to say worth. They're noticing your worth. Okay, let's see. For a winter. Okay, you might need to take a little chill here. Because it might be vacation or um, taking a time out. You might be exhausting yourself here. We have the koala. Thoroughly think things through before making a decision. Continue to overanalyze isn't going to get you any closer to a resolution. But meditation and prayer will bring you the answers you seek. Also, you know, this is... With the Four of Swords, it's, um, you know, the fact that maybe you just have to sleep on something. Take a little time out. This also could be healing from something. A little breather. I think you've been working really hard. And we have here, justice is going to be served. I love it. Libra energy. Okay, so we have elephant. Fair decisions will be made after all the evidence is reviewed impartially. Have compassion for others and try to see all sides of a disagreement. Oop, I just knocked down this, this spy guy. <laughs> okay, um, so justice will be served. So things are going to work out. Things like that almost feels like, you know, any kind of obstacles that you need to overcome. I almost feel like it's almost doing its own thing. You just got to sort of like um, avoid trying to, don't get in a confrontation with someone who just, Opens mouth without thinking because it's just their way. If that's coming up, okay. Let's see. And they don't even know they're doing it. <laughs> let's see. Or maybe some do. Okay. Let's see. We have here the chariot again. Fast moving energy. Things are moving along. Something's gonna happen real quick. This is um also is as far as business is you're driven to succeed here when you get this. It might be business trips too. There might be travel. There might be relocating. Isn't that a beautiful card? Oh, absolutely gorgeous. I want to hug them. Yeah, there's 
that comes in better. Okay, so um, something moving along real quick here with the um, chariot. So it's a really go for it um, energy here. What about the four of winter? We have the seven of swords here. This is interesting. So maybe you have to sort of take a step back because, you know, the obstacle here, I guess, will be the main obstacle here is that with the seven of swords, that could be for some kind of criminal behavior where you work, someone doing something they shouldn't do, suspicious activity maybe, shady dealings or something. So, or maybe you're trying to fix something that someone else did. Just don't get involved in someone else's um, stuff. Justice is going to be served, though. So whoever's doing this, like this is, this is, and this card is like someone's trying to, you know, they're running away. They're stealing something. They're running away, right? But justice is going to be served in this situation, whatever it is. So let's see here. We have the moon. You know, this is weird. This might be, someone's already looking into this. Okay, we do have the spy guy, spy girl. So someone could be actually, maybe that's more about watching someone's activities that aren't right at work or at the workplace. People are aware if someone's trying to steal from the company or um, doing something they shouldn't do, whatever way that is. Even if they're stealing time or if they're not working and act like they're working. Because I'm going back to this energy here. You're working really hard and you're getting noticed. Also, these people that aren't working, they're getting noticed too. Because this is the justice that's coming in here. They're not going to see it coming. This is hidden. Pisces energy, the moon. You know, there's... They might be fearful, though. I almost feel like someone's fearing something. They don't know what. They just get... I feel like someone has this energy. I don't know. I feel a little uneasy about something. And I think because they're, they're being looked at. They're being watched. And they almost feel it, but they don't know what it is. They just know they feel the... Because with the moon, you do have the fear that comes out, too. It's um, facing fears. But this is something that someone's not seeing. There's a mystery here that's going to be solved. It's going to just coming in. I'm loving this reading. <laughs> okay, now, what is coming in in their future? We have the Six of Spring. Yay! Six of Wands. You're getting recognized. There's victory. This... This reading, all over this reading, is like you're getting your come uppings here that you deserve. This is, and also the people that are bad, they're getting, well, I shouldn't say bad, but the people that are not um, behaving properly are going to be found out and it's going to be taken care of. So we have here the Six of Spring, Rescue Dog, Mixed Breed. You may receive a promotion, be chosen for a scholarship, or find that you're, you're singled out for a special recognition. You've done an amazing job, and you deserve all this attention that's coming in for you. Okay. Loving it, loving it, loving it. It's coming in. It's your time to shine here. Eight of summer. Moving away from when something that does not serve you. So maybe when you get this recognition, you might be getting offered an opportunity. You're saying, yeah, I'm going. I'm getting away from this stuff here. We definitely have moving cards. You have the chariot here twice. And now we have the eight of summer, which is the eight of cups. So a kangaroo. You feel that there's more to life than what you're living. So it's time to move on. You may be moving from a situation that isn't good for you. Or perhaps you're being drawn to what would make you happy. Either way, you're in control. Yay. Let's get one more. Eight of winter. You are not blocked. You are not locked in. See this card. I love this card. For This is like the eight of swords. This is being a, uh, your own self-imposed mental prison because you are not stuck. You are not locked in. See, this bird This bird thinks it's locked in the cage. They're right in the door. <laughs> they just have to fly out, but they're thinking they're stuck. Now, these other birds are having a good time up there, you know. <laughs> Again, I'm looking at this. This is these other people having a good time while you're busy working and thinking that, you know, you're stuck, but you're not. Okay, so we have bunting here. It's so easy to convince yourself that you're trapped when you really aren't. Trust that God will lift you to a new heights and give you the greater self-confidence if you affirm your freedom. Okay, yes, you are free to do what you need to do here. You are not blocked. You're not stuck. You know, don't put yourself in a mental pr prison. Um, it's, you're not restricted. 
you can move and you have moving cards so you definitely can move okay let's see why is the six of spring here Ooh, the nine of wands see you're protecting yourself got the nine of wands here twice this is protecting your assets um with the nine of wands so um you know it might be an ongoing battle but you're you know you're getting through it you're this person's very happy here <laughs> they're jumping for joy and that's because you're getting the victory here. You're getting acknowledged. All the hard work you put in that you think you weren't getting acknowledged, you're getting acknowledged and you're, it's coming in. Now, what about this eight of summer? The hermit, Virgo energy, going deep within. This is also maybe you're more like, you know, I, I, I feel like almost like a lone energy here that you're really been working on this lone. You're, you're finding the light within yourself. This is self-contained here. This is, um, it's you might be doing research maybe some type of time management trying to figure out look at how we have the two eights here that this is moving on and then we have two nines interesting okay so this is finding the light within look he's got the lantern here which is the star in here and then we have the light here in his heart so following your heart doing what you love to do doing this is the healer this is the teacher this is the student okay now, what about this eight of winter? We have the emperor. I knew the emperor is going to come out. There is a power couple coming together. This is also could be representative of your male and female energies, like really working well together. And here we have the emperor. And the emperor is uh, the masculine authority. You have the feminine authority here. So this could be coming together. Maybe you're letting your emperor out. Maybe you locked your emperor up. <laughs> <laughs> you know, now you're coming out, but it's either a power couple coming together. Like I do see a connection that's coming together that's really going to be amazing, or it could be both. You're coming together with your significant other, your power couple coming together. Plus, you also both are able to embrace both your feminine and masculine energies. And this is an awesome reading. <laughs> okay, now, whom or what is on Aries energy? I don't know if I said that. Whom or what is helping you? Let's see. We have here the Prince of Winter. Love it. So this will be the Knight of Swords. This is, failure is not an option. This is going forward. This is either someone's coming to your aid and helping you or, or this is your energy. So we have here decisive, focus, driven, impulsive. Get ready for progress to speed up. This situation requires you to choose logic and intellect over emotion and make your decisions quickly. This could be just you moving ahead. Just things are going to take off. You got a lot of movement in this reading, a lot. So expect things to take off. Let me get up on charm on this one. We have here, okay, this could be a new love with the seahorse. Could be a new love coming in. Or it could be a new love for what you do or a new revitalizing your the love for what you're doing here. That could happen too. Let's see, Knight of Swords. Okay. Let me get a couple more of these. And we have here five of spring. Okay, so here's the challenges. This is uh, conflict. This is drama. You know, you're doing well. When you do well, other people are not going to like it because they're not going to be doing well with you. Okay, let's see. We have the ram. Occasionally, you may experience clashes with others. If you decide the matter is worth your energy, then do what you can to minimize the conflict without sacrificing your goals or beliefs. Okay, let me get another one. Queen of Spring, yay, okay. This is the way show. This is, you know, you got the I can do attitude. This is getting a lot of attention. Looking very good, too, at the same time. You know, this is a very attractive energy. So we have here um, talented, brilliant, independent, charming, Persian cat. Don't underestimate your ability to manifest your dreams. You may have several priorities vying for your attentions at once but you can do it so you might be being pulled in different um directions at the same time you're getting a lot of attention here you are shining bright you're getting you're getting all this attention oh look at this it might be for love too love could be coming in well you are very attractive and people are noticing you so that is happening too and what i want i want the oh, queen of wands okay put that there all right now let's clarify these 
Let's see about this Knight of Swords, the Prince of Winter. Ooh, the Ace of Pentacles. Look at that. A golden opportunity coming in for you in the right place at the right time. Getting these offers. Things coming in. Getting crowned here for all your achievements. What about this Five of Spring? We have here, okay, we have the Eight of Cups. You're moving away from this conflict, from this drama. You know, it's like you're too mature for this. This seems like kid stuff that they're dealing with this drama. But you're getting away from that. Okay, now what about this? Um, This is also like moving on up, moving, you know, away from stuff. This is branching out. It's um, to bigger and better things. Look at her. She's leaving things behind. See that? It's like leaving all that from behind. Saying, I don't need this. I don't want that. I'm moving on. Too much sadness here or whatever it is. Okay, what about this Queen of Wands? We have, okay, Four of Swords. This is a, a different Four of Swords. This is so, you know, like under the knife here. Under this, um, like the pendulum swinging with this, the blade here. But... This is um, also time to take a rest. Maybe a little vacation or something. A little time out with the Four of Swords. That's what you need to do. Take, you know, you deserve it. You've been working hard. Okay, now the possible outcome for you guys is the Seven of Spring. Okay, we have the Gecko here. And this is Be Asserted. Believe in yourself and don't let anyone take away your personal power. Trust that your inner... <coughs> okay, someone wants to speak to you. Here we go. <coughs> trust, trust that your inner guidance is true and follow it completely. <coughs> Again, I was feeling that from the very beginning. People are trying <coughs> to talk you down or talk you out of something. You just know, trust your intuition, follow what you need to do, and don't listen to anyone else. <coughs> <clears throat> so definitely wants to talk to you. Got a lot of aces here. It's like, ooh, we have unity. This will be like the higher and Taurus energy. So we have the polar bear. Embrace this time a deep spiritual growth. You may feel called to act as a mentor, find a new teacher, or spend time with others who are also on a sacred path. Okay. <clears throat> And then we have the two of winter. Dash down Dougie here. We have procrastination and worry. What others will think is blocking you from making a decision. If if you're torn between your own desire and someone else's, follow your inner guidance. You know, you got to do you. I keep on feeling like people are trying to drag you back down in the muck and the, mu and the mud. And you can't go there. You're out of there. You got yourself out. They can't get themselves out. They like to waddle in the mud. Let them stay there. You are not in the mud. Okay, here we go. Three of spring. Okay, sea turtle. Stop to take time to review and make long-term plans capitalizing upon your past successes. It's appropriate to pat yourself on the back for all your accomplishments, but you may also need patience for the need for the next phase to play out. Okay, so you might be waiting for this uh, on the, some kind of level here. I think some things are coming in already or you're about to see them, but some you might have to wait for. Just be patient. It's coming because with the three of wands, this is saying that there's going to be a payoff. There's going to be rewards. They're on the way. They're on the horizon and they're going to come in due time. They're going to when they're supposed to come. Okay. So let's see here. What about the seven of spring? And you know, Personally, a lot of times I don't want things to happen during Mercury retrograde because I want them to, they're coming in, they're good, I want them to stay. <laughs> I don't want them to change. Okay, let's see what about the seven of spring. We have judgment. You're going to make a judgment. Look at this judgment card. Okay, yes, yeah, there's a judgment coming in, a decision being made. Something could be coming back around. This could be um, second chances. A wake-up call also results are pending. It almost feels like a same like energy are waiting here. So what about this unity? Hierophant, commitment. Pay to soars. Okay, Aquarius, Libra, Gemini. This could be um again spy guy, spy girl, but also with the page of swords, it's um you know, like there it could be something that you're studying, something you're learning, something new here. Um, and this is with the unity, working with others. Maybe watching what they're doing and, and realizing you want to do something else too. Is this could be you being the spy? You could not so much a spy as seeing something and saying, "Okay, I want to know more about that." 
you know, learning something. So it doesn't have to be so much spying as the fact that you want to learn something else or do something else or find an, a, maybe a new um, group that is, you say, hey, I kind of like what they believe in. I kind of like their faith or something like that. Okay. Page of Swords. We have here, what is this? Ooh, we have the rhino charging ahead here. Okay. Let's see. Page of Swords. You're moving ahead. You're going to do whatever you need to do here. So what about this two of winter? We have here the three of wands. Okay, yeah, there's victory coming in. You might just have to wait. Keep on. And even with this two of winter, you're not sure what to do. What you're not, you can't make a decision here. All the facts aren't out, or there's for some reason. So you're gonna wait. Be patient. It's gonna come in. Ah, look at the last card though. Eight of swords. Feeling trapped in your head. Don't let this waiting deter you don't feel like something's not coming because it's, it's, it's not happening quick enough you have a lot of movement that might be too you might get all this movement things might start moving fast and then it might stop but it'll start up again so don't let that throw you because you need a break too you've been working so hard <laughs> you know you need a little bit of time out to to rejuvenate refresh <laughs> revitalize yourself okay let's do the page of sorry the knight of swords money cheater career okay so maybe someone felt maybe you felt like someone's trying to cheat you out of money in your career that could be for someone not gonna be for everyone but you're getting it now because you're getting the ace of pentacles yes you're getting a gift of money so if you were cheated out of money before in the past it's coming in now it's going to come back around okay what about this queen of wands We have thinking, phone call. Oh, okay. There's a phone. There's a phone call come from a player that's thinking about you. They're thinking of calling you. I mean, that might be for you, might not. Let's see. What about this Knight of Wands? We have here thoughts. Of course, that's the player right there. Thoughts, intruder, denying. Oh. So maybe this person intruded somehow. Now they're come, trying to call you. And um, they're denying that they were the intruder. <laughs> okay. What about this king of pentacles? Money. Lover. Married. Before. Ooh. So maybe you guys were married before? Or let me get the clarify on the money. Or maybe one you were married before. Maybe someone married before for money. Oh, and we have, for the money, we have the rainy day. Rainy day money. <laughs> rainy day money lover. <laughs> okay, you guys rearrange that to make more sense to you. Let's do the queen of pentacles. Gift. Finances. I tell you, money's coming in. Expect a gift of finances. Okay, I'm going to do one on these. Um, I don't want to make it too confusing. So we have here, whoa, this is money for a house. What is going on here? You might be making some big bucks here and buying a house. Someone might be leaving you money or giving you a gift somehow. Or, or who knows? It's going to be different for everyone. What about this Queen of Cups? Likely. Expect. Jealousy. Oh yeah, you're gonna you're gonna expect jealousy. You're getting all this money, all this attention. Yeah, there's gonna be a lot of people jealous. Okay, what about the page of wands? We have new start. Realize that you need to apologize. Okay, someone's coming in at this page of wands. They want a new start and they realize they're gonna have to apologize to you. What about this page of swords? Single lust. Oof from the past so maybe someone realized you're single now and they're lusting from you and they're from the past okay what about this page of swords message lying return Woo. so someone wants to get a message to you they're lying about the return or they're returning and lying or they're they could be lying okay you know you guys play with that one. <laughs> 
Okay, just take, you know, take a screenshot and try to figure out the words or something like that. And Because these are already long and I can't play that much time with them. <laughs> Let's see here. What do we have? I'm so happy for you guys. This is great. I mean, I, I don't, I feel bad about players coming in and stuff like that. But you, your money, and you're going to have a connection here that's really good anyway. So, um, let's see here. What do we have here? What are the signs? Nope, this one won't pop. Aquarius flipped over. Okay. So we have, oh, look, and Taurus flipped over. They're flipping now. They're flipping for you. Oh, <laughs> jeez. See, they want you so bad, they're flipping for you. Okay, Aquarius, Taurus, Aries. Actually, I need some more room. I got so much going on here. Libra. Leo and Virgo. Isn't that nice? They're all different. Okay, so this could be placement, your chart, placement, other people's charts, past, present, and future. We have Aquarius, Taurus, Aries, Libra, Leo, and Virgo. Now let's do the letters for the initials. First name, last name. If you get both the first and last initials of someone and you and they have a middle name, you know that middle name. Get that initial also. All the better. Past, present, and future, also your own initials. We have M B. J, Q, V, O, G, D, P, O, K. All right. So the letters we have for you today are M, B, J, Q, V, O, G, D, P, Okay, now we'll do the names. We got eleven or more names. Okay, two jumpers. <laughs> well, we got flipping signs and we get jumping names. I like it. <laughs> Let's see. Okay, I pulled some. Those two are the only jumpers. Okay. So I might need some more. So Sonelli, S O N A L I, Stella. Tino, T-I-N-O, Carrie, C-A-R-R-I-E, and then we have Suneri, S-O-O-N-E-H-R-E-E, -E, and Gloria, Annette, A-N-E-T-T-E, -T -T -E, Kunjal, K-U-N-J-A-L, and we have Josh, City, C I T I. S-I-T-I. -I. I don't know why it says. <laughs> okay. This is a long one, so it's getting to me. Frank. Okay. So we have exactly 11. I love it. Okay, guys. Now, remember, these are general readings. They're not personal readings. Please take what resonates. Leave what doesn't. Please let me know if it resonates. Please leave comments. I hope it resonates for most of you guys. I mean, I don't want the cheaters coming in here, but <sighs> overall, the money, we're doing the career and finance is Oh, it's going great. So I love that. All right. Um, so if it does not resonate with you, check out your other placements, your sun, moon, rising, and Venus signs. I love you guys so much. I appreciate all your likes, your shares, subscribes, and comments. And I hope to see you all again real soon. Thank you.